This Airbnb has a charger, it's not bad here. Oh yeah, they do. Do you think we can charge our car with it? Why not? Okay, let's, let's try. try. Doesn't fit, man. What? Doesn't fit. Why doesn't this fit? I think it's the it's different. This is circle. Oh. This is this is not a circle. Yeah, but they said that we could use their charger when we're staying here. Why doesn't it work? Oh, we have to figure something out, you know, because this is like it doesn't fit at all. Oh, I remember we got something in the trunk. It may work with this. Really? You think so? Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Where did I put it? I didn't I'm not sure. Let's see. It's not here. I think it's this one. Let's see if this works or not. I think this this should work. This is a circle one. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Okay, let's give it a shot. And which side does it go on this side, right? I think. The same shape. The same shape. So this is the same shape. Okay. All right. And then what do we do? We plug it in, right? All right. And let's see if it starts charging or not. Not yet. I didn't see the blue light. Oops, it's coming. Oh. Maybe it will work. Oh yeah, oh. that 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 one is blue. Yeah, oh, it is charging Maybe now, the and the charger yeah, the car is, is working. The car is so how come it didn't work the first time when we tried? We had to use this adapter. Oh, we didn't see it. That's for Tesla only. What? Yes, that's this charger is only for Tesla. This is a Tesla charger? Yeah. Oh, that's why it this, didn't work. This, this Airbnb is very fancy. Yeah, they should, they should have told us that it's a Tesla charger. Good thing we had this with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's now good, good stuff. we can actually charge. So the lights are on, everything is charging. But let's see what kind of speed we're getting. Okay, so now we're in the car and uh, we are getting on the car. It says 6.6, 6.7. So this is in line with what Kia was saying because this one has a three, no, sorry, 7.3 kilowatt onboard charger. So it's limited by that, obviously. So 6.6, um, 6.7 is good enough. We are charging actually at 5.8 to 5.9. So there's a loss of about one kilowatt. Obviously I have the car on. So HVAC is on and all that stuff. If we turn off, then we will not have that loss, I think. All right, and then how many amps are we getting? Uh, we're getting 15 amps only. So these chargers by Tesla, they're rated up to 40 amps, I believe. Um, and they can give you much higher charging speeds if your car can support 40 amp charging. Unfortunately, with the Kia, it does not, but it's still good enough. It's still good enough, you know? So if you find yourself in a situation like this where you need to charge the car off of a Tesla charger, an adapter like this is perfect. And now we've turned off the car and the HVAC and everything else. So we're hovering around six kilowatt, which according to the car itself will give us 100% um, in about four hours, 45 minutes. We're at 62 right now. So yeah, that's not bad, pretty good. If you find yourself in a situation like this, you can always use this type of equipment. Okay, so if you're done charging and you want to unplug, so this is how you do it. Reggie, come on closer. Maybe show everybody how this looks. So basically here we have a latch that we have to lift up. Then that turns off the, the charging in the car. And then we just have to gently remove the adapter itself from the charging head of the Tesla. And very simple, we just... Take it all and we hang it here and then that's it. The light will go just green, which means ready. And then yeah, and that's it. So this little thing can help you charge any car that is not a Tesla on a Tesla home or destination charger. Pretty cool, eh, Rosie? Cool.
the A2Z Tesla to J1772 adapter comes in this very nice carrying case with a little carrying strap. And then you just unzip and open it up to reveal the adapter itself covered with more foam just so that it's protected when you carry it in the trunk of a car or somewhere else that it's not going to get damaged. Inside you also find a pair, a pair of keys, well not a pair, actually four of them, and then the adapter itself. So let's have a look at the adapter really fast. So this is your Tesla side. That's where your destination charger or the mobile connector or the home charger and will go into. And this is your J1772 side that goes into the car that you're trying to charge. As you guys can see, it's weather sealed. So if you're using it outside in the snow, rain, uh, you know that you will still get a charge and no moisture will enter. Um, on the top here, you have a locking mechanism. That's for the car side, the J1772 side. So that if you're charging on level two and you need to do something else as most people would be doing, you can just use one of the provided keys to lock the adapter in place so that nobody can steal the adapter itself. And also when you plug in the Tesla side here, you have another locking mechanism on the bottom that locks the Tesla charger within this adapter. And this is on the bottom, so most passerbys will, will not be able to see that. They don't know that there is a locking mechanism here. Even if they tug on the Tesla side, they won't be able to unlock it and then um, stop you from charging. So this is perfect. Um, overall, I think very well built. Um, nice little spring here for the, uh, for the locking mechanism here. Everything else, this is made of metal, so very well protected. And then the rest is just plastic, but well-made plastic. So there you go. Um, very, very nice product from a, uh, you know, design mechanical perspective. I just wish it had a logo somewhere here, <laughs> you know, A to Z, so that when you're plugged in charging, you can do a little bit of uh, marketing for the company, right? But yeah, overall, very, very well done. I think the A to Z Tesla to J1772 adapter is a must have for any non-Tesla EV owner. Simply for the, for the reason that you are able to charge using either a Tesla destination charger, a wall connector, a Tesla wall connector, or even one of those portable Tesla chargers that a friend of yours might have who drives a Tesla, and then you're able to get a charge where otherwise you wouldn't be able to do so. Plus, the biggest standout feature for me and something that attracted me to, to try it out and use it is the 20 kilowatt 80 amp charging speeds that it offers. Obviously on supported vehicles. I couldn't test that on my Kia, unfortunately, because my Kia tops out at 7.2 kilowatts. So um, if you have a car that is able to offer, um, you know, much faster charging speeds on the AC charger that's built into the vehicle, then perfect. Then this thing will handle that speed up to 20 kilowatt which is amazing. So, you know, I wish I had something like that on my trip that I did with this Kia a while ago. I stayed in a hotel. I only had access to Tesla chargers. I didn't have an adapter and I couldn't charge overnight. So having something like this would really, really benefit me at that time. I would be able to get a full charge overnight and not have to spend countless minutes waiting for the charge for the car to charge on a DC fast charger the next morning. So yeah, definitely. And if you guys want to pick one up yourselves, there is a link in the description below. Um, click on that link. And also I've included a uh, discount code. So use that to save a little bit of money when you purchase one. And yeah, if you do have one, let me know how you like it. And if you like it, how did you use it? Did you ever have to use a Tesla destination charger or any of the other uh, Tesla connectors that are not superchargers to charge your vehicle? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please make sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye.